This is a channeled guided meditation to help you release resentment, anger, and hatred. If you haven't already, close your eyes and sit in a comfortable position. Bring yourself to this moment. Be present, be here now. You are ready to heal. You are ready to move on. You are ready to let go and shift your energy. It's time to claim your power back. Letting go of resentment is letting go of an energy that is holding you back, that is preventing you from being the full and highest version of yourself. Because holding grudges only weighs you down. What happened won't change. You cannot change the past, but you can change the present. Holding on to things that disempowered you will not turn around. And expecting people to do what you would do will only lead you to disappointment. So, let's claim back our power. Let's embody our true self. Let's lift that weight. Let's embody our fullness our love, our happiness. So I want you to think of that story, that person that is in constant repeat that weighs you down, that brings up resentment, hatred, in you. Think of them in detail. Think of their energy, the things that they said, specific words that triggered you. Connect to them in this moment and trust the healing process. If you can face them in your mind, then you can heal. I want you now to call forth your higher self, the wisdom, the highest and purest energy that is always with you and within you to also show up. What does that version of you look like? What does that version of you feel like? I 
want you to connect to it also. Imagine it as a string that goes from you to them and also a string that is attached from you to the person that you resent. This is to gather information and to eventually release the tides, the energies. I want you now to look at the person that you resent. Look him in the eyes. Look deep. No matter how it makes you feel, just allow that feeling to arise, to go through you, to pass through you. And ask them, why am I holding on to this? Why am I holding on to this? Allow the answers to show up. Maybe it's because it makes you feel validated, righteous. Maybe taking on the pain makes you realize the injustice. Maybe it can never be made right, but at least you will not forget. Why am I holding on to this? Allow the answers. Is this serving me? How is this serving me? Why do I allow this person and memory to still hurt me today? Why do I allow this person or memory to still hurt me today? What am I gaining from this pain? What am I gaining from this pain? still have an influence on your life today, in a way you are still giving them power over you. So we are now going to energetically break this tie. And you are going to make a choice. It is going to be completely up to you what you choose. The cord that ties you to the person that hurt you is a cord of righteousness and a simple question do I want to be right 
and the cord that ties you to your highest self is the highest path not the easiest one but the question of do I choose peace so do you want to be right or do you want to be at peace you cannot have both and whichever cord you choose I want you to cut the cord that no longer serves you break it release yourself from them from the pain from their power and claim your power back free yourself from the suffering every time those memories arise within me I decide and choose to stop the memories and I change my reaction to them I have the power to do this by being connected to my highest self I am connecting to my full and true power this does not mean I allow the person to get away with what they did to me it means that despite what they did to me I will thrive I will win and my actions my life will speak louder than any memory than any words that I can ever say to them my happiness my healing is my reward that is how I will win over them so I now and forevermore release let go clear cancel and delete all traumas memories energies that are tied to this person I invite allow and open my heart up to people places and things that will allow me and help me to heal from my past I accept this now and I claim this to be my truth moving forward I will choose better and I will do better I understand that it will not be an easy path or an easy choice but I understand that it is worth it and that I am worthy of it now and forevermore I claim this in this lifetime and for the next to come And now visualize that cord between you and your higher self glow, strengthen, and will bring you both closest together, closer and closer together. So close that you will merge into one, settling the energy, empowering you, healing you, and freeing you. and watch as the person that you resent dissolve like a faint memory a speck that never had power over you and will never again have power over you your energy is complete now allow this to sink in allow this to be your truth and claim your truth now embodying this energy and holding on to this new you I want you now to bring it out into the present where you are standing in the room that you are standing not only yet being in your mind but fully being it 
expanded out of you, just above you in this room where you are, radiating out of you, becoming your new truth, freeing you of that weight, those energies, those memories, that cloud, allowing you to shine bright, to feel your power, your clarity, your lightness. This is you now. This is you because you let it go, because you let them go. Thank yourself for this healing. Thank yourself for freeing yourself from the chains of the past. Be grateful. Say thank you to yourself. Thank you for taking the time today to empower you, to love you, to be kind to you, to give yourself what you need. It's time to be this person. And with that love, with that energy, with those new words, when you are ready, gently come back into your body and take your time to open your eyes.